I, young adulthood, a time of learning, of change, of pretending like you know what you're doing. This season of life can be really stretching with all the necessary adulting that we're forced into and the big decisions that we need to make. We are often left feeling alone and overwhelmed. I know I've been there. In this video, I'm going to share with you three things that I think every young adult needs to hear and hopefully you'll be encouraged to share these things with other people in your life. But first, I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being gospel partners. If you want to become a gospel partner and make what I do possible, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple to join today. Now back to the show. Okay, you know what time it is. It's story time with Isaac. Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of a sweet story, sentimental story. I remember when, as a kid, um, whenever I'd go to bed at night, right, I'd be kind of, you know, maybe I was like eight or nine or whatever. I'd be kind of waddling over to my bed and I'd be kind of like, okay, I, I got to go to the bathroom. So I'd walk over to the bathroom before I went to bed and I'd look to the left and there's my parents' room and they would always say, Isaac, we love you. Isaac, we love you. But at that time in my life, I didn't really know what that meant. You think of a toddler, I have lots of younger siblings and when they were a little bit younger, you know, toddler age, I could have went over to one of them and, you know, explained to them, look, I had this delicious apple for lunch. It was absolutely delicious, so crunchy, so juicy, so tasty. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> so, it's a, <laughs> there's a tear to my eye because it was so delicious and this toddler's just like looking at me like, because there's a sense of disconnect. They don't really understand what I'm talking to them about. Maybe they can try to visual visualize it, but until you actually give them an apple, right? And show them, oh, this is a crunchy, this is a juicy apple. There's a disconnect. They don't understand what you mean. And similar, when we hear, I love you from somebody, there's that disconnect. If we actually can't see or touch or feel, what is it that that means? What does it mean that I love you? So that's the first thing that I think every young adult needs to hear, every person needs to hear really, is I love you. But it doesn't just stop there because if it's simply just, I love you, there's a disconnect. But if we can show our love, then that's the game changer. Just an example of this is my dad. When I think of my dad, and actually that's part of the reason that I wrote my book that I'll be talking about a little bit later. When I think about my dad, how did he show his love? By his presence in my life. He wanted to know me. He wanted to ask questions about me. He didn't see time with me as an inconvenience. You know, when we say I love you to someone else and we show that love, we're actually um, becoming a picture of what God's love is like for us because God loves us. He accepts us, not based on our merit as people because we're that awesome, because we're that good no because of how good and gracious God is he loves us he accepts us and he wants to know us and that is amazing thing and when we can give that same love and acceptance and and grace to other people by just wanting to be present with them that's an amazing picture of the gospel amazing picture of God's love for us while we were yet sinners Christ died for us and we can show that same love by sticking by somebody by saying I love you to someone even when it's hard okay wow this is so exciting. I'm actually getting worried that we have another sponsor. This is fantastic. Two sponsors in one month. This is amazing. Okay. Yeah, we're going to run the sponsorship right now. If you want to learn adulting, you must act like a child. People ask me all the time, what is the key to a good microwave mac and cheese? And I truly believe it's the ratio between the milk and the butter. When is a person ready to adult? I think the real question we should be asking is, when is adulting ready for you? In this class, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about adulting. We'll be touching on paying your bills. Okay, so I want you to open up your phone, go to your contacts, and call your dad because we both know you're broke. I will teach you how to make food to stay alive. This is a microwave. She is going to be the Robin to your Batman, the Diego to your Dora, the Patrick to your SpongeBob, the Jonathan to your David. I'll also be sharing some tips that'll help you on this journey of adulting. You know, I used to worry so much about taxes and doing all that right until one day a good friend of mine showed me something amazing called tax fraud. Changed my life forever. I'm Isaac Mogileski and this is my masterclass. 
Okay, so we're back. Uh, pick up that masterclass if you're interested in that. The second thing that I think every young adult needs to hear is I'm proud of you. I think it's part of our human nature that we look for acceptance and validation from other people. And often that comes from, you know, we're looking from that from our friends, from our parents. So some of us have complicated relationships with the sentence, I'm proud of you, because maybe you feel like I didn't hear that a lot growing up. I feel like there's this tension within me that I'm kind of pulling to try to work towards people saying, I'm proud of you because I just want to get their validation and their acceptance. So when I was about 11, 12, I took part of these things called triathlon. So a triathlon, I don't know if you know much about it, but it's basically torture. Okay, but for real, it's uh, swimming, biking, and running. So at the beginning of every race of swimming, right, I would get ready. We'd all line up and we'd all be ready to go. So I'd be like, okay, this is my time to shine. This is my moment right here. So I'm, I'd start going. I'm swimming as fast as I can. Uh, my arms are going. My legs are kicking. I'm just like, please, Lord, deliver me to the promised land. I need to get to that finish line as fast as possible. So I'm hustling down, I'm swimming, and I look behind me, and all these people, there's multitudes of people behind me. Yes, I am winning the race! And my 12-year-old, you know, self got a little bit overconfident, because as I went into transition, the point where you transition from one part of the race to the next part, so from swimming to biking, you grab your bike, you grab your shoes, and you start biking, right? And so in triathlons when you wanted to pass somebody you'd say on your left so we'd all be on the right side of the road you'd be biking along and if somebody wanted to pass you they'd say on your left and so i'd be biking i'm in first place i'm like let's go let's go and what proceeded to happen was as i'm biking i hear on your left on your left on your left, on your left. By the end of the bike portion of the race, I was, if not in last place, second in last place. I'm just demoralized. I get my bike, leave my bike. I'm starting the running portion of the race. But at this point, it is too late for this boy. I'm like, oh my goodness, how could I have let this happen? This is the greatest, you know, this is the greatest collapse. This is the greatest collapse since Golden State lost to LeBron, since the Falcons lost the Patriots in the Super Bowl. This is the greatest collapse since Goliath. I have lost to David. This was bad. I was absolutely demoralized as I went to the finish line. But who do I see there? My parents. And my parents, they say, hey, we love you. We're proud of you. Good job. And I'm just like, Pr proud of me? Why, why are you proud of me? what I do? I lost. <laughs> like, you know, like, I, I, I've lost. Like, you can be proud of me when I've done something. You can be proud of me when I win. But why are you proud of me when I lose? When I have the greatest collapse of all time. But you know what that does when you can say to somebody, I'm proud of you. Even when things aren't going the greatest. Even though they maybe didn't just win the race. Maybe they didn't just, you know, get the job. Maybe they, they didn't just, you know, accomplish what they wanted to accomplish. Even when you can say, I'm proud of you. It shows that person that they're more than their accomplishments. They're more than their achievements. Their life is worth more than just goals being accomplished or work being done. They are valuable, not only in your sight, but in God's sight too. And for you, if you're struggling with this, feeling like I need to achieve, I need to perform well, I need to really prove myself in a sense, I just want to tell you, I'm proud of you. And other people are proud of you in your life because it's not about the achievements. It's not about the goals um, being achieved. It's not about the accomplishments. No, it's about you and who you are and your character and your heart and you being a child of God. And that makes you valuable because God created you in his image and people love you and people are proud of you. I interrupt this message to give you a special announcement. Wait a minute. What? What is that? Oh my Dude, do you see this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the announcement. You can get this book for 10 bucks. 10 bucks, that's it. So it usually is something like $25 Canadian, but you can get it for 10 bucks. All you need to do is go to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. Sign up to be a gold or silver gospel partner. It's 10 bucks to become a silver gospel partner, and I will send you this book full free as a gift to you so that you can get this book now. It's super great deal, and I'm really excited excited about you reading this. A lot of the stories that I'm sharing today are in this book. So this video is really based on this book. So if you enjoy this video, check out the book. You'll equally enjoy it, if not more. This promotion is ending January 29th. So get your book today. 
back to the show. The last thing that every young adult needs to hear, and this is so important, you know, we, we talked about I love you. Keep saying that to other people, having that, people say that to you, that means a lot. Um, I'm proud of you, right? Just having that confidence and knowing that you're not just your accomplishments. And the last thing is I'm on your side. I'm on your side, giving you that confidence that saying, hey, look, you know what happens, whatever adversities we're, we're going through, whatever challenges we may face, I'm going to be there with you. I'm going to be on your side. So from the ages about 12 to 18, I was on a basketball team, uh, what we call rec ball in Manitoba here. Uh, uh, there's probably, they call it that other places as well. But we'd actually have a name for it. It was called the Rejects League. And it was because whenever you got played rec ball, usually it was because you couldn't make your high school team. Well, I was homeschooled. I never tried out for a high school team. Maybe I could have made it. Probably not. But I was on the rec ball team, the Rejects team and there was something about being on a team that was just interesting you know you'd always have that one guy on your team that you weren't sure like is his mom forcing him to be on the team does he like basketball or what's going on one second he could dribble the ball off his foot out of bounds another second he could shoot a half court shot and win the game for you you don't know what this kid's gonna do but the amazing thing about a team is when a team is formed you don't get to choose your team you don't get to decide oh my goodness this is who I want on my team no it's just like this is your team especially in rec ball because everybody makes the team so as a team even this guy that you, is the loose cannon he might do you know, bounce it off his foot one second shoot a half court the second second like hit it off your head or what he's just wild right you're on his team you say hey i'm on your team i'm here to support you man i know there's gonna be challenges i know there's gonna be you know uh, adversity along the way but you know what we're all a team so for bringing this basketball analogy to the real world we know none of us are a perfect basketball player we all sin we all fall short of the glory of god we all make mistakes right so the fact that any one of us can say to the other hey look i'm on your team through thick and thin i know you're gonna make mistakes i know you're gonna dribble it off your foot every once in a while but I care about you and I want to stay by your side it reminds me of a verse in Galatians where it talks about bearing one another's burdens and I think this is so important for young adults as communities as you know just being able to pour into each other's lives to be able to say look I want to bear your burdens with you I'm gonna stick by your side I'm on your side I love you I'm proud of you by doing that, we're actually helping to bear each other's burdens. And maybe as you're thinking about these things, you know, what, what every young adult needs to hear, I'm, I love you, I'm proud of you, I'm on your side. Maybe you haven't heard these things recently. Maybe you're in the situation where you don't have those kind of people in your life that are, are telling you these things. And, and if so, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. But also, I want to just tell you that, look, God sees you and he loves you. And by his grace, he's, he's given his life so that you could have forgiveness for your sins, right? And he can be proud of you because of his grace, right? And it's not based on your accomplishments. It's not based on how good you are, but it's because of his grace and his love for you that he's accepted you. And he can say, yeah, I'm proud of you because you're my child. And he can also say, I'm on your side and he is on your side. He will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think are, is another thing that every young adult needs to hear. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya.